So in today's session, we are going to study about our uh, human brain. Okay, so in human brain, I'll show you the figure for that. Yeah, I think you can see the parts here, right? Correct. So we got forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. Okay, forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. So three parts are there in the human brain. First one, that I will just off the video. Yeah. First one is my forebrain. Correct. Second one is my midbrain. And third is my hind brain. Okay. So we'll discuss about all of those things uh, in detail. So first thing is forebrain. So it is the most complex part of the brain. The first one, the forebrain. Yes, so it is the most complex part, complex part of the brain. Yes, and it consists of it consists of cerebrum. So again, we will learn in detail. This is my consist of. Correct. Huh? So what is the main function of forebrain? Obviously, this has got what the most important thing, our thinking function. Suppose if I want to write what I want to do it. I use my forebrain. Forebrain is for what? Thinking function. Thinking function. Correct? Yes. Then memory. To store memory. So these are the most important function. Correct? And then suppose you are attending the classes and you are hungry. Correct? So obviously hunger. In the sense the part which is associated with hunger. Correct? Yes. So these are the main three important functions. And suppose if I want to move my hand or if I want to write, that is called my voluntary actions. All my actions. Voluntary actions. Voluntary actions meaning with my conscious, whatever actions I'm taking, all of these things are done by what? Taken care by forebrain. So that's the reason it's most important part. Correct? Midbrain. Second one is our midbrain. So in midbrain, yeah, so it controls my involuntary actions. What is it? It controls my involuntary actions. Like my movement of head, neck, movement of head, then neck. Correct? Yes. So all of those things are taken care by my midbrain. And the last part, hind brain. Hind brain. So it has got mainly three parts. First one is cerebellum. Cerebellum. Correct? So it controls it controls my posture, correct? And balance. It controls my posture and balance. Yes, and how I am writing, correct? So obviously, all of those things are controlled by what? Cerebellum. Yes, second one is medulla. Yes. So medulla controls what? Involuntary actions. Controls involuntary actions. Like my BP and all of those things. Example, but blood pressure, BP. Correct. The saliva formation, salivation, vomiting. Correct. 
all of the all of these things are controlled by medulla yes the last one is third one is pons p o n s so what is the main this is again an involuntary action but mainly regulation of respiration regulation of respiration pons pons okay yeah so mainly the regulation of respiration now how my brain and spinal cord is protected the next topic what we will learn is protection of protection of brain and spinal cord this is a very uh, easy question also brain we know by what skull correct yes so basically yeah skull or we call it as brain box yes this is mainly by what skull second thing spinal cord is what it is enclosed in vertebral column vertebral column fine so these are the main two important things in this now let's see the coordination in plan so the chapter is control and coordination now let's take the coordination in plans first one independent of growth second one dependent on growth second one is dependent on growth okay so i just want to come with one example for this first one independent of growth so main communication between plant to plant is what by electrical and chemical communication so to inform something from cell to cell correct or to pass an information from one cell of the plant to another it uses what electrical and chemical means to convey information for example now currently if i want to call my friend i'll take my uh, mobile phone and i will call him correct yeah so i'll be taking the mobile phone and i'll be calling him but i am speaking in what signals voice signals correct yes but does the mobile phone understand my voice signal no it understands only electrical signals so it will convert my voice signals to electrical signals but my my friend also doesn't understand electrical signal so it will again convert this electrical signal back to the voice signal so similarly here the plant will also what use electrical to chemical signal for their communication purpose yeah so here i first point i would write to here is let me write it here it uses electrical and chemical means to convey information from cell to cell from cell to cell it uses electrical and chemical means to convey information from cell to cell okay yes again the second point and this is what see for example let's take uh, the touch me not plant if i take touch me not plant in this 
if i touch it what happens the leaves will get shrinked correct yes so that's what the uh, obviously the stimulus in the touch me not plant that is independent of the growth now depend on the growth okay depend on the growth there are mainly uh, three to four important topics in this first one is phototropism phototropism photo meaning light photo meaning light movement towards light movement movement towards light correct yes second point is geotropism geotropism movement towards gravity movement towards gravity third one hydrotropism hydro name itself will give us the answer hydro which means movement towards water movement towards water chemotropism okay the fourth one in this is chemotropism chemo c h e m o tropism chemotropism is what movement yes towards the ovule so i can better say that growth of the pollen tube towards ovule and i don't hear chemotropism i'll just write it down here growth of the pollen tubes pollen tubes t u b e s towards towards ovule okay yes so these are mainly what in response to stimulus basically so reactions yeah now some plant hormones i would like to introduce now plant hormones first one auxin a u x i n auxin correct so it helps the cell to grow longer what is the function of this helps helps cell to grow longer correct and it involves in phototropism it involves in phototropism phototropism okay there is a first point second point is what gibberellin so it helps in the helps in growth of stem helps in growth of stem third one cyto kinens cyto kinens so it helps what cell division cell division helps in cell division and this is found mainly in fruits and seeds fruits and seeds okay helps in cell division where it is mainly found fruits and seeds the last one abscisic acid abscisic abscisic acid so this is basically what stress this is stress hormone if there is a stress hormone what will happen we won't grow the plants won't grow so it is a growth inhibitor it stops growing it stops the growth of the plant it stops the growth of the plant okay so stress hormone so just remember us learning all of these things first three points we'll get stress right correct so just like the plant gets stress it releases abscisic acid so it doesn't promote the growth of the plant further okay yeah fine 
So again, the next topic for us is hormones in animals. Hormones in animals. Correct? Yes. So obviously, for all our day-to-day -day activities, we need what? Hormones. The functions of hormones are of very much of great importance. So the first thing in this is endocrine glands. Endocrine glands. So endocrine glands in the sense, these glands, yes, secrete their product. So these plants, what they, uh, these endocrine glands, it mix, correct? It mix the hormone into our blood. Hormone into our blood. Correct? And our main organs and our main organs for releasing it, for releasing the hormones. For releasing the hormones. See, these endocrine glands, yes, they have, they make what hormones basically, yes, and they mix it with the blood and not only the blood and also with the main organ for releasing the hormones that they have produced. Okay, so I'll give you the list of endocrine glands, which is there, the list of endocrine glands. First, I will take about, suppose you are so excited. Yes. Suppose, let's take our favorite sport. Yes. Let's say if it is a cricket, last ball, six runs are needed. Yes. And if Dhoni is on the other end, correct? And if he hits a six, then obviously the Indians will be so much excited. Correct? And there will be a heavy rush of excitement and that happiness, the sudden energy will be there. That is due to this adrenaline rush, we'll say. Or else if you're going to your favorite uh, concert, yes, while seeing the singer, yes, we'll be uh, getting a very much high level of energy. That is due to this hormone, adrenaline. So it is secreted by what glands? Adrenal glands. And this is located above the kidney. This gland is located above the kidney. Above the kidney. Correct. So the main function of this adrenaline is what is it? it regulates the blood pressure. It regulates the it regulates blood pressure. Correct? It increases. I told you it's a rush, right? It increases the BP, it increases the heartbeat, everything. Heartbeat. Yes. So this is the first one. Second one. I'll give it as growth hormone. So the name itself is giving us the answer. Yes. So it regulates the growth and development. But where is this thing located? Growth hormone. It is located in our midbrain. Midbrain. Correct. And this is secreted by our pituitary gland. That is our master gland. Secreted by secreted by pituitary. That bracket our master gland. Okay, yeah. And the next one, third one, thyroxin. Yes, thyroxin, thyroid. I think you may have heard about thyroid. Correct. So thyroid is located in our throat or neck. Located in our 
throat or neck yes so this hormone is secreted by what this thyroxin hormone is secreted by thyroid T H Y R O I D, thyroid. Yes. So, what is the main function of this thyroxine? Main function of thyroxine is it regulates the metabolism of fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. Regulates. Regulates. Mechanism of fats. Proteins and carbohydrates and carbohydrates. The third one, yes, and fourth one that is very common. We might have heard hey about this insulin. Very very important also. Yes, this hormone is secreted by pancreas. Secreted by pancreas yes it reduces and regulates what our blood sugar level so suppose if we have a sugar problem correct we take what insulin injections so what is the main purpose of this it reduces it reduces and regulates blood sugar level blood sugar level okay and the last one the fifth one the sex hormones yes so which is sex hormone in male in male it is testosterone Testosterone. Correct. And this hormone is secreted by testis. Secreted by testis. Yes. Yes. And in female, male, this is the thing. In female, in female, it is estrogen. It is estrogen. And this is secreted by what? Ovaries. Secreted by ovaries. So more of this detail, I think in reproduction chapter, you will be studying. Okay. Yeah. So that's about the hormones. So now let's see... Uh, some important topics, subtopics. Diabetes. Correct. I think we all know about it. More sugar, we will be what? Diabetic. Diabetes is a disease, obviously. More sugar content. Correct or not? Yes. So, how is this diabetes happening? How is it happening? What is the cause of diabetes? Deficiency of insulin. Deficiency of insulin. Correct? So if insulin is not there, it can't control, we can't control the blood sugar level. So, as I already told, how do you treat it? We have to give the insulin injection. Treatment of diabetes, insulin injection. That's it. So these are the 